another little steam engine. Uh, the last one I did, which was uh, a single cylinder slide valve engine with reversing gear, uh, was very satisfactory, but it wasn't self start To be self-starting, always it has to have two cylinders. So that's what I'm doing. And uh, I'll show you step by step. This will take several videos, I'm sure. The first thing I have to make is the crankshaft because that's the most difficult of all. And uh, if I can't make the crankshaft, I can't make the whole engine. This is the crankshaft itself with uh, two inner, just circular uh, crank discs uh, and two outer ones which are set 90 degrees apart with the eccentrics for the valve gear. This part is to uh, put in the chuck and the outer part uh, is where I will start machining. And uh, these holes for the crankshaft and for the crank pin are drilled all the way through to about this line, you may be able to say, see it there. Uh, that means that every disc will be identical as far as the placement of the crank pin and crankshaft. Very simple to use, but you must make sure that it is pretty close to the centre. You can just put a, uh, a drill or whatever in the uh, chuck and lower it down and get it approximately centered because if it's too far off the, the needle swings far too much but it's approximately centered now and I'll start rotation it doesn't have to be very far and you can see there the amount y-axis first now if I turn it Ah, it's getting wider, so I'll turn it back a little bit, and when I get, that's about the minimum. This is, from here to there, is five thousandths of an inch. So you can see we're already within, oh, two and a half thou. Well, look at that. I don't worry about where the zero is, it's the amount the needle moves. And we're now centered within uh, a thousandth of an inch. That's going to be close enough. This is the setup of the crankshaft blank from which I will mill and cut all the crankshaft discs including the two discs which have a timing uh, eccentric on it. Now uh, what I've done here I've started to drill the central hole for the it's a very small center pot which is the center of the eccentric disc and I'll use that to make sure that uh, I'm running concentrically in the lathe when I put it back in and this is center drill for the actual crank pin I haven't drilled those yet uh, and I've started to drill the central hole anyway that's the basic setup I'll drill and ream the hole stop has already been set uh, so that I can drill the holes sufficiently deep that uh, every crank disc will uh, have the correct holes. I only need that center pop right on the end piece so that won't be drilled at all. The hole was drilled with a number 13 drill which is uh, two and a half thou undersized for uh, 3 sixteenths, uh, 0.1875 and uh, this is a 1 thou undersized 0.1865 reamer 
which will make it just the right size to be able to uh, press in a 3 16 uh, uh, drill rod crankshaft. I'm going to ream it now. That's it. I've changed <coughs> the drill now to a, a number 31 which is ten, uh, 5 thou undersize to an eighth. So now we have to move the whole table this way to get it over the tiny little pot for the one eighth hole and I'm just going to check we're in the right direction yes we are I'm going to unlock the table and 0.165 two turns is 0.1 three turns is 0.15 and 1.6 and I'll rock the table again and now we should be just right and reach for our number 31 drill now this is the finished turned and drilled blank uh, ready to go into the four jaw chuck for the machining of the timing eccentric the centre hole is for the crankshaft the little one on the outside is for the crank pin and the little centre punch is going to help me make sure that I when this centre punch is centred I have the right eccentric. Do you see? I'm going to measure that of course on the periphery, on the diameter here as well, uh, but of course uh, this is just a double check and as you see uh, I'm the sort of old man that needs <laughs> double checking all the way along. But anyway, that's the next stage will be the lathe and the four jaw chuck. The other end of this, of course, this blank is machined uh, down, I think it's 0 0.3 diameter, because I'm going to machine in the four jaw chuck a eccentric here for the timing on this end, but I also have to do one on this end because it has two cylinders and this will give me room to cut in this way uh, while I still have it in the lathe for the machining of this eccentric the point being that then I haven't moved it at all in the chuck and I get the eccentric distance exactly the same uh, with the same relationship to the crank pin hole and of course this is why I drill all the holes all through for the blanks because that means that every time I then part off a uh, crank shaft disc um, then I get the distances and the holes all in the correct relationship so uh, hopefully that's the way to go if I can make the crankshaft, I can make the whole engine.